In a one-on-one -on -one interview in his hometown of Wrightsville, Georgia, Herschel Walker providing his most extensive comments about allegations he paid for an ex-girlfriend to have an abortion in 2009. Why not reach out to her? And if why, why should I? Why do I need to? NBC News has now spoken to that former girlfriend who provided us with what she says is a copy of a $700 check that Walker gave her to pay for the abortion and a receipt from the medical center in Georgia where she alleges it took place. NBC News is not revealing the woman's identity or the documents to protect the privacy of all parties. But we did show a copy of the check to Walker, who said the allegation he paid for an abortion isn't true. This is still a lie because she's the mother of my child. So you're going to see me a check or somebody giving a check. So that, that I'm saying it's a lie. Do you I know what this $700 check is no for? I have no idea what that can be for. Is that your signature I, on the oh, check, though? It could be. It doesn't matter whether it's my signature or not. When pressed, Walker said definitively for the first time, the check is his. Yes, that's my check. Why should voters believe you in this Voters moment, should believe word. me because I've been very transparent about everything I've ever done. He has also faced allegations of domestic violence from multiple women, including his ex-wife and his 23-year-old son, Christian, a conservative influencer. He said, and I'll just quote for you, you threatened to kill us and had us move over six times in six months, running from your violence. You've said you love your son, Christian. Right. Just... For the voters who want to hear an answer to the allegation about yes. violence. Okay, I Is that said, true? I'm telling you, what should people voters, know? I would say, I love my son Christian. I love my whole family. I'll always love them and stuff. That's what I say for my son Christian. And I don't have any violence. Walker has also faced criticism for embellishing statements about his academic and business records and ties to law enforcement, highlighted by his opponent, Senator Raphael Warnock, in their debate. I've never pretended to be a police officer. <laughs> And, and, and I've, never, I've never threatened a shootout with the police. Walker then brandished what appeared to be a badge. And you know what's so funny? I am with, with many police officers, <laughs> and at the same time... We asked him to explain that moment. And, and where's this right? one from? This is from my hometown. This is from Johnson County, from the sheriff of Johnson County, which is a legit bad. The Johnson County Sheriff confirmed to NBC News he gave Walker an honorary badge, which allows him to help with community support in a crisis. Georgia is key to determining which party controls the Senate. While walking on the Wrightsville field that bears the former football star's name, Walker revealed former President Trump called him after the debate. Did he give you any indication, just to put a fine point on it, that he will be here in Georgia for you? campaigning for oh, you if, to help if you bring I, this if, home. If I needed him, uh, he'll come.